Now I'm guessing that most of you watching this will have already downloaded Ecamm and set the thing up, but uh, it makes sense to start at the absolute beginning with this and we're going to head over to the Ecamm site and download Ecamm. So you'll notice that when you come over on the Ecamm website, uh, there's a familiar face back there and it just says here, download Ecamm live. Nice and simple right on the front. Click that button and downloading now and you will see that straight down here it's coming through if for any reason it doesn't start there's a little link to click there and when it's done you can click and open this up and here's your download double click and close that down and it's saying there ecamm is an app from the internet do you want to open it yes let's open move to the applications folder yes always do that and here we go. Welcome to Ecamm. Now, yours might be laid out a bit different to this on my desktop because I've had this in before, obviously. And uh, log in or sign up if this is you coming at this the first time. Pop in an email, password, re-enter the email, and then first and last names, and click sign up, and away you go. I'm going to log in because obviously I've already got an account. And in we go. So here it is, this is Ecamm. As I say, it'll look a bit different to this, but uh, what you're going to see as we explain and walk through is that all of these elements here, we can turn on and off and move around and organize them however suits you. And you'll also spot that where I've got this little pro symbol up here, yours is probably gonna say trial on there, or if you're on the standard version, it won't have pro up there. But actually, if you're on the trial, you get access to everything, and you would just have a little watermark at the bottom of the screen here, so if you are going live with it, uh, it'll just be branded up with Ecamm. But then when the trial's up, you can either choose to use the standard plan or the pro plan, and uh, there's more and more features that are being added in at the pro level now. Definitely worth considering upgrading to pro. If you wanna be doing interviewing, if you're going to want to use Ecamm into Zoom, you're gonna want the virtual mic, the virtual webcam to be able to split out and record separate audio files, separate video files for editing afterwards, or maybe for a podcast, 4K streaming. Lots of things that now are part of the pro account that you don't get in the standard one. But you can upgrade at any point, and uh, we've actually got a video just highlighting the benefits of going pro uh, a little bit later on. So for now, this is in. Uh, before I do a video showing you all the way around this, and I will, and it'll be fully in depth explaining every button and feature on here, I do just want to explain to you the new hierarchy really as we see it inside of Ecamm and really thinking what are you wanting to do? Are we streaming? Are we recording? Are we doing a presentation out to Zoom? Uh, it does make a difference as to how you come through this. So I'm going to explain that in the next video and then we'll have a proper look around.